Can you please share one tip for product research? That would be another one maybe for Nick to handle because he's got uh, a lot of experience in, uh, in, in sort of product research. He actually did a talk at ECML about product research. So Nick, what's your top tip for, um, for product research for people? Okay, uh, top tip for product research. Well, I, I mean, it kind of, there's two different types of product research in my opinion, whether we're doing drop shipping or print on demand. So um, I, don't, I don't know which one we're talking about, but I can uh, give a quick tip for both of them, I guess. For, uh, for drop shipping, really, you know, I think that a lot, of, a lot of product research comes down to the mindset of understanding what you're looking for. Okay, and, and we talk a lot in this course. I, I really go in depth with a bunch of different product research methods and actually doing some live product research for the case study store uh, that I built specifically for the training in this course to actually demonstrate what we're doing. So, you know, I, I think with drop shipping, one of the biggest tips that um, I can give, and, and it kind of goes into what we talked about at ECML, is uh, looking for trends before before they happen. All right, a lot of people right now are doing the copycat method. I mentioned this a little bit earlier. And while that can certainly get you some sales, okay, I'm not gonna say that it doesn't work, but where people are finding the most success right now, and what I'm really seeing, again, not, not, not only not only for myself, but uh, people that are doing bigger numbers than me, right? Even people that I'm networking with that are doing much bigger numbers than me, where they are finding their best products is they are selling stuff that uh, they're researching ideas and they're finding product ideas out there that are not yet being sold by other people, all right? Because the, the power in when you can create a trend before other people start copying, and of course there will be some people that are copying, but think about which side you wanna be on, right? Now for anybody just getting started, of course, you know, the idea is, yes, you know, you, you wanna go and look at places for product ideas and, uh, using the tools that are out there. We talked about some of them in the course and looking for trending items that are out there that you can then put on your store and sell and maybe create a unique marketing angle for. And I would say for people that are starting, that's kind of one of the biggest tips. If you find something that's working well out there and it has a really massive audience, right? Looking for mass appeal kind of audiences, then try to create a unique angle to it. Don't just try to sell it the same. Demetrius actually has a great story where he talks about a product that he helped somebody sell uh, that was already a product that was being sold and, and kind of out there already. Uh, and they were able to discover a new audience for it that nobody else was really targeting. And when they discovered a new audience and they recorded their own video and they created their own marketing angle, they were able to blow up with that product and make a ton of sales. So uh, I think that's one thing about, you know, when you're just getting started, right? And I understand it can be a little bit difficult when you're just trying to make money to start the trend. But once you do have some experience and you've been able to start creating good marketing angles on products that are already trending, you really want to start shifting to how can I identify trends and get ahead of them? Um, and there's some ways that you can do that, like with, uh, you know, looking at just doing your market research, right? Um, just looking at things like Google Trends and some sites that are out there um, that we'll talk about in the course. I don't want to give the whole course away, but you know, Google Trends is, is a great resource where you can identify trending things, right? Google's the largest search engine in the world. So you can identify trending things as they're happening, as people start searching about them. And if you're constantly looking and you're constantly dedicated, like kind of keeping your ear to the grindstone, as, as the saying goes, then sometimes you can really find, uh, you can spot those things before they happen and you can get in front of them. Uh, another great way is looking at Amazon, okay? Amazon Movers and Shakers. Amazon is its own search engine, right? And Amazon Movers and Shakers is a great place that you can look to identify items that are trending on Amazon that may not be trending in the rest of the drop shipping world yet. And so you can start looking for stuff that isn't necessarily already being sold all over the place, that isn't necessarily already trending, and you can create uh, you can create a product page, and once it starts selling, you can push that into your own single product funnel. And and this is how some of the biggest people out there that are doing massive numbers in drop shipping are doing it um, by by following that type of mindset, that type of strategy right there. You know, once again, it all comes back to strategy, right? It comes back to how you're approaching what you're doing, how you're thinking about market opportunities, and and what you're trying to sell. Uh, and then with print on demand. 
Uh, the biggest tip really, and I'll cover this a little bit more in depth in, in the course, is, is just going to Pinterest. Honestly, every print-on-demand expert that I know, um, everybody doing well in print-on-demand, and even myself and my own print-on-demand success has been finding ideas from Pinterest. So um, Pinterest is an amazing resource for print-on-demand, and the reason behind that is because that what works well in print-on-demand is having a strong message that is translated into a good design. All right, and, and we'll cover lots of that stuff more in detail, but uh, hopefully that was a, a really good answer to that question there for you.